Det er rart at være gametester i et betaspil, hvor de fjerner alt det content, man skal teste. <laughs> ja, yeah, I guess. Men selvom vi giver dem feedbacks på det, vi så tester, så... så jeg, jeg var helt enig i det, du sagde forleden af på din stream skyt. Det her med, at, øh, at de reagerer simpelthen for langsomt på, hvor for tingene er fikset. Altså, når noget er... En ting er, at, you know, at uh, Momixen klipper igennem uh, hatten, eller you know, min briller klipper igennem Momixen, eller you know, at uh, skåbe sidder lidt forkert, eller svæver op i luften, eller sidder forkert på ryggen, sådan noget, whatever, så længe det ikke ødelægger spillet, det er bare visuelt. Fuck it. Men de her game-breaking brocks som uh, you know, Invincible Players og Audio, og sådan, at det ikke får mere attention, og det ikke bare bliver fix, 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 fix. Lige snart de bare fundet en minimal løsning på den patch, push, push and patch. Og vi fandt i noget, der kunne gøre det endnu bedre. Push and patch, push and patch. Det må jeg ærligt sige, det er skuffende, synes jeg. Jeg synes, det er super skuffende. Det kan så måske også hænge noget sammen at gøre med, at, øhm, at spillet er så kompleks. Er der ret sådan en ting, som at folk bliver usynlige? Det er måske ikke bare lige at til. Altså det kan også måske være noget at sige om, hvor kompleks spillet rent faktisk er. Fordi hvis de bare skal fikse det, bum, sådan her, så kan det være halvdelen af resten af spillet, det bare siger. You know? Og det er de også bange for. De vil jo heller ikke have et spil, slet ikke fungerer. Jo vel? Så jeg tror, jeg tror lidt, det er der, den ligger. Altså det, jeg tror desværre også lidt, at det er det, der taler til deres forsvar, hvis man skal sige noget, der tale, skulle, skulle tale til deres forsvar. Så... Og så er det, jeg ikke forstår, hvorfor ikke de gør brug af testserverne noget meget mere, end de har. Hvorfor har vi ellers adgang til, hvorfor kan man ellers deltage i, altså melde sig til testserverne og have testserverne, hvis ikke er alle de her ting, de bliver testet godt og grundigt i en uge eller to inden, og der rent faktisk bliver gjort noget ved den feedback, der kommer. For det her med rubberbanding, det her med server performance, mega FPS drops, um, og at det var svært at placere, hvor folk var henne. Det var alt sammen noget af det feedback, der kom, da de testede Oculus Audio på testserverne. Jeg var inde og teste en af de sidste tests inden patch 13. En måned før patch 13, cirka, var jeg inde og spille en øhm, dags tid eller to. Øhm, måske en, hvad jeg har haft, måske en 8-10 timer over nogle dage på testserverne. Øhm, på nogle dage, hvor jeg streamede, og, eller efter stream, eller før eller efter stream. Bare fordi jeg ville lige se, hvad det nye uh, lydsystem det var for noget. Uh, og, og der lagde jeg mærke til på ETS uh, Discorden, at det var rigtig mange af de ting, som folk de pinpointede som feedback. Det var mange af de issues, vi har nu med Oculus Audio, hvordan det effekter på server performance, memory leaks, rubber banding, uh, vertikal lyd er prækstalt, faktisk ikke eksisterende overhovedet nærmest. Uh, lyd trappeopgangen er ikke eksisterende. Uh, alle de der ting og sager og det er ikke fikset det er så fair nok det er ikke noget at kunne nå at blive fikset til selve patch 13 fordi patch 13 var, var, var tydeligvis skubbet ud alt eller alt for tidligt patch 13 skulle højst sandsynligt og meget 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 sandsynligt have været først released i april måned eller sådan marts april måned før havde det tidligst nok ikke været klar der var ingen tvivl om at der var et pres på BSG om at release det på grund af uh, Blandt andet formentlig på grund af you know, forventninger fra community. Og men nu skulle vi have et wipe og næste patch. Men i høj grad også fordi der var et uh, twitch drop event, der var blevet arrangeret og planlagt. Og det er nok bare heller ikke lige helt til at undgå at lave flere ting. Der er noget kontrakt og sådan noget mellem uh, Twitch og BSG, når det sker. Um, you know. så, men så kunne det så komme som en af de første prioriteter bagefter, så min, minimum en måned eller to efter, ikke engang, jeg vil sige minimum, max, max en måned efter release af en, af en major patch, som, som 13'eren var, at så skulle der nogen der begynde at have, you know, hotfixes på plads. Jeg sværger også, at skats hernede er fucking cracked, og der er en milliard af den. Og du kan ikke køre den. 
Nu så jeg selv ham skriften, der gik derover Hver gang han gik bag en stolpe, så forsvandt hans lyd. Og lød som om det blev muffet, eller som om han gik ovenover. Hey Galato. Det er en af de største issues, jeg har med det nye lyd, som vi har lige nu. Det er, at hvis en person, person går bag et objekt, selvom de er på samme etage som dig, så ændrer lyden så. Bum, sådan her. Det er mere så Fuck off. Så ændrer lyden så instant i det øjeblik, de går bag en, en, en stolpe eller en bil, eller en, på en lille smule mere afstand end bare her, for eksempel helt herover, at så lyder det som om, at lige snart de er bag den stolpe, så går de på en over eller under der, fordi lyden bliver muffled. Og det øjeblik, lyden bliver muffled, det er plejer gerne at være tegn på, at personen er over eller under der, og ikke på samme etage som dig. Og det er det, der fucking forvirrer mig. Jeg kan ikke huske den dag, hvor jeg døde. Jeg ved ikke, hvor let er det mange gange til folk, der stod lige ved siden af mig på Factory. Fordi hver gang jeg stod et sted på Factory, hvor der var bygninger på samme etage, øhm, de her små skure eller containers, eller hvad det nu var, lige snart personer løb ind bag de containers, så løb det straks, som om de var op over mig, eller nede i kælderen over, som de var på samme lag, samme lydlag som mig, hvis man siger sådan, samme etage som mig. Fordi lige snart de kommer ind bag, bare så meget som en stolpe som det her, kan få lyden til at fuck helt op i, at du slet ikke kan høre, om de er, er de her, er de her, er de her. Det synes jeg er det helt store issue med Oculus Audio lige pt, det er, at den, den behandler simpelthen lyden forkert i forhold til deres position. Fordi den lyd, når han går ind bag ved her, den skal ikke blive muffled, den skal blive ved med at være super tydelig, totalt crisp og clear, at han går herover, og der er slet ikke tvivl om, at han går herover. Den skal ikke være muffled, som om han står i, en rum, i et rum ovenover mig, eller et tri rum længere ned, ned ad gangen. Eller sådan. Den skal være crisp og clean, og jeg skulle køre hans samtlige fucking footsteps på den afstand på ham, der gik herover hele tiden. Den skab kommer 100 p ud og dunker mig i hovedet lige om et gang. Kan I se hvad jeg mener, guys? Den skab kommer gående. Steffen kommer gående helt herinde fra, hele vejen herinde. Jeg sidder her. Jeg giver ingen audio cues overhovedet, indtil han drejer rundt. Lige hen over den her tærskel her, lige her, så begynder vi at høre ham. Der ikke Oculus Audio er forfærdelig. Det er ikke af voice line, så vil ikke vide, hvor halvdelen af de her skats, de er henne. Yeah, DJ's, uh, oh, sorry for the side kind of semi rally on you. We're just testing out audio with this guest down here. It's, it's, it's really, really, really bad. This placement, this place here is really, really notorious bad, notoriously bad for him. Um, Audio cues with scaffs and shit, it's so bad down here, it's almost impossible to hear where the scaffs are coming from. Didn't expect a PMC down here? Oh, you should always, if you don't spawn down here, you should always expect a PMC down here, because there's always got one, there's always gonna be one PMC spawning down here. You know what? I'm guessing the gun is insured. Um, guessing the gun is insured, right? That's that's not all right. Okay. Okay then. 
just gonna stash it for you then. I didn't really expect it, but I kind of assumed it was. Although it was a Saiga 9. Why you would ensure a Saiga 9 though? <laughs> I think last night when I was playing down here, I had I spawned down here last night, um, and um, as I was spawning and moving around, going over to the security room, I think I killed about five scavs or so. As I was inside of con in the security room, another wave of scav spawns. As I exited this basement area, um, I think I had about fifteen uh, scav kills just down here in the in the parking um but alone just 15 kills down here in itself that's how many scav that fucking spawned down here it's absolutely insane it's such a nutty place for uh, pmc spawns oh i mean scav spawns have you found some many of them yeah if you have one of the tasks where like you need to kill x, x amount of scavs um it doesn't matter what map it's on Go down to this basement or hope for this spawn down here because yeah you're gonna have a shit ton of scavs done in such a short amount of time it's crazy there's so many spawns down here it's absolutely insane and once you shoot one of them the entire fucking scav army comes down here and like what the fuck you killed pop bro you killed pop fuck you Yeah, I know, I mean, one thing is seeing the loot, another thing is getting from here to an actual extract, you know? I don't really sell these on flea market anymore, and I'm not really running with drum mics, but I'm, you know, might just stock up on them for a bit of fun later in the wipe. Because you can only buy, like, two with every reset. I, um, I think the, um, I think, I think this, um, let's take the aggressive for a bit of attachment fun. Um, I think this room down here is sometimes is pretty damn decent, other times it's just really awful. Just like any other room, you know. Wow, he walk actually walked through the fucking closed door. Nice. He wa he walked through a do closed door by the way, chat. Nice. Then out of ten game chat. I have seen Tetris spawn on the floor inside, in the, on the floor in here. I don't know if you've seen that, um, Doodle, Doodle, but Tetris, Tetris can spawn in this place. Actually, triple up on drills. Hold up, let me just, you know, complete the collection over here. There you go. That's a drill tastic. Um, so I always check the um, same with the two toolboxes down that area. They can spawn quite a lot of um, good stuff um, on the floor as well down there. A lot of um, you know like bullbags, cutters, and you know balls, all sorts of you know good hideout stuff that sells decent in early white. Um, I haven't seen the Tetris on the floor down the bottom one, but I'm pretty sure it's. Should be able to spawn one on it. Oh, actually, guys, let's go back through the um, the thing. Hopefully, don't get buckshotted by a fucking scaff. And let's go up to Concordia 64. Because I actually forgot I had that key. I took the wrong one, fuck it guys, whatever. Let's go this way then. 
Yeah, I need to take the one over the side where I actually spawn on the two on the double uh, toolbox area. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was a Bitcoin. No, I found two Bitcoins in here yesterday. Uh, during the night when I was playing last night, I found two bitcoins. One was sitting there, the other one there, and then there was a Rolex here or something. Um, yeah, sure. Um, it's the um, Concordia 64. I think it's like only like 70 or 100,000 on flea market and dual. And it has 40 uses. Um, it's only inside of this bedroom that actually spawns this. Like it spawn here, spawn here, and one here, I think, and then there's the spawn here as well. Um, I can't remember if the spawn over here. I'm not really sure. Oh no, really? All right, okay. I traded for it when you weren't able to buy it on the flea market. I traded for it for EMs. I sent it to a key card, actually, I think. When I did the quest in here, and you know, early, early, uh, you know, a month ago or something like that, three weeks ago, you could, you could barely buy any of the keys of Flea Market, you could only part of them. Uh, but yeah, you, you'll be unlucky sometimes in there, dude, because sometimes there won't be anything in there at all. I've opened up the door like two or three times, and the room is completely empty, not a single fucking thing in there. And then you have a raid like yesterday where I open up and there's like four IT valuables, like two Bitcoins, GP coin and a Rolex or something like that. Probably a doodle, probably a doodle, wait what? How the fuck do I say that? Thank you for the follow. I'm just gonna call you doodle, because that's easier. That's okay. Thank you for the follow on GG's by the way. Google is good. Right, thank you. I don't want to be pronouncing name, people's names wrongly, but sometimes it's so freaking hard to know where you have to divide the, the actual name, like, and where you have to put emphasis on a certain part. Because, you know, the text is just one in, out in one go, so it's difficult to see where it has to be separated. I like talk more. I mean, wait. We knew that's good. We knew that. I saw your in-game name was pretty fucking fun as well. Biggest diggers. <laughs> like that. That's funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah. If you see my golden cock, I'll I'll show I'll show you mine if I see yours, you know. Uh, not really. Not sure my husband would appreciate that. <laughs> it's probably maybe you shouldn't. Yeah, maybe you're right. Shouldn't. <laughs> Did I do this one? Ah, yes. Yeah, these four double bags in here are definitely worth looting as well. Um, I found a lot of good shit in those. Pretty much every uh, disc there is in this map. Make sure to check them. Uh, one of the guys, one of my VIPs that I play with, uh, Sometimes I uh, was like, oh, remember, because he's been running a lot of scabs before I started really playing this map as a PMC. I was like, remember to check all behind all the counters, there's always something there. And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. And then I started checking, it's like, I've probably found uh, like 50 gold, gold neck chains ever since I did it, and a lot of GP coins, etc, etc. So definitely check behind the counters. Ah, I need to make money runs now. Yeah, good stuff, man. Hopefully no more PMCs down in the basement, right? <laughs> yeah, good luck with raids there, dude. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for following, thank And uh, thank you for dropping by. GG's, man. Let's grab some crack, guys. 
it's just spinning around, sliding, spinning around, sliding, spinning around, sliding. It's absolutely... Oh my god, that... A scaff that does that makes me fucking anxious. I'm outright anxious, you know? People on both sides here. Your face here is really, really awful, by the way, Jen. As soon as you enter this area, your FPS just goes. Bleh. It's really bad here. Really bad. That's one, one, two, three, four, four stream, four stream items in one go, guys. Then, that's the kind of move we want. A nice little drop here. I want us actually been here looting. It's, it's the sniper. Is it the sniper scab I'm here? Yeah, I think it's the sniper scab I'm hearing up there. He's rattling with his weapon. He makes me fucking nervous. Just preparing to be absolutely obliterated by some dude with a shotgun or SVD from a scaff, you know? Guys, we should probably get the fuck out of all of here. I actually have decent loot now. We got to loot the taking crate on the other side. There you go. Slimer scab is fucking making me nervous. Like seriously, that slimer scab is making me nervous. That shit is making me nervous too, guys. Holy fuck, what the fuck was that? I'm fucking dizzy here, guys. Holy shit. Fuck, I'm different. Where the fuck is that from, guys? Holy shit. Hmm. 
Monka. I'm fucking afraid to run out of here because I am most likely gonna get hit shot by some X3D dude. Yeah, that was that was sussy. That shit was fucking sus, guys. Yeah, no. No. Lord, give me his pa uh, stamina, please. That guy definitely wants my fucking head. Holy shit. Fitting, uh, fitting track for this raid, guys. <laughs> Fuck it, peasant, no more. Oh, fuck your tip, bro. Der er normalt jo tre legs ud samme rum eller samme run på laps. Damn, for nu jeg mangler fire til min crisis task eller fem til min crisis task. Jeg ikke kræfter mig at give ikke spille laps. Jeg jeg beundrer jer der gider at spille laps, som altså i forhold til at mene det. Jeg er bare ikke særlig stor fan af laps. Jeg, 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 jeg kan ikke rigtig med pp'en på laps. Jeg synes kun er lidt... Øh, lidt indsigtigende. Bliver de bare solgt? Ja, yeah, I get that. Jeg har aflevet alt andet til tasken, faktisk, til den. Jeg har crafted defibs og hele lortet til den. Det eneste, jeg mangler, det er bare at aflevere. Jeg har også afleveret min, eller stashet mine to, hvad har det, Reaper Scopes på Customs, dem har jeg også afleveret eller noget. Bare fordi det er super nice XP. That was fucking close, that one chat. Yeah, that was a good game, guys. That was a good game. GG's. I'm probably gonna be speaking a bit of English today, guys. I just want to test it out. I know I go do it and then I jump back to English pretty quickly and then, you know, kind of forget it. But I, I noticed so many English speaking people or English, yeah, English people setting my stream on a daily basis. And, uh, you know, it would be nice to actually keep one of those for just more than, you know, 30 seconds because they don't understand a fucking word of what I'm saying. Gelato being one of them, and you know, a bunch of other people coming in every day. And I know you guys pretty much don't, you know, you guys more or less don't really give a damn, I guess. That's all with analytics. All right, okay. I need to I need to grab another blouse, guys. I need to get something different. And this is too fucking hot to wear. I think it's like twenty five degrees in here now or something. It's so damn hot in here. Oh, 
Because frankly, I don't give up. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, BT2, BT2, uh, BB. Um, Penguin, do another one la one more game on streets before we have to restart the game, guys. So let's just let be right back. I'm just going to change the clothes a bit. Two seconds, guys. I think it's super neat to hear other languages. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, a lot of people, you know, find it pretty entertaining and funny to listen to different languages. Uh, but then again, if you enter into a stream and you hear another language that you don't really understand, you're not going to be there for like, you know, you're not gonna be. You're not gonna stick around for like you know months and so, and at least not entirely. <sighs> yeah. Thanks, Galato. I'm. Not, I'm glad. I appreciate that. Hmm. Oh no, I should have brought something new to drink. Fuck me, guys. Oh, actually, I don't have anything to drink. I should have gone to Lema before I started the stream. Yeah. Fuck. My mana is gone, chat. Mana is gone. <laughs> Okay, so of you guys wondering what I was doing, I was uh, measuring my uh, blood sugar. Life of being a type 1 diabetic, guys. At least I'm a cyborg now. <laughs> Yeah, same blue. It's only on Red Bull give my wing right Yeah, guys, you sing. I went to bed at like 4 a.m., 4 in the morning. I think it was almost. Um, I think it was almost half past four actually before I went to bed. Yet I ended up playing Tarkov until like early, like very early morning. Then I went to bed, woke up at nine, and Nick had gone to Rema and he had picked up eggs and bacon and rundstöcker, and he just made a really, really good, uh, you know, breakfast for us with eggs and bacon, and you know, and he had bought uh, two white uh, monsters for me, so I was really a happy girl when I woke up. <laughs> I just get my shot in the ass today. 
So yeah, he made us breakfast and it was freaking good. It's been I don't I can't remember when me and Nick have had breakfast together. It's been so long time ago that me and him have actually sat down and had breakfast together. Because I'm always Morn is always awake several hours before him normally. Because it's so difficult for him to sleep. Well prop Mostly I'll be awake a lot, a lot, long before him, so I eat at different times. The only thing we pretty much, the only time we pretty much eat together is like when we make dinner, like proper dinner. That's nice. Oh, he's sweet. Yeah, he is. He's a fucking keeper, that's for sure. It was so funny when we are, uh, you know, started them. Um, we found each other on, you know, one of those you know, dating apps. Um, not Tinder, but the other one that you, I think it's called. And um, it was like, first of all, you had to Google what transgender mean, meant. It's like, oh, okay, whatever. It's like, oh so, yeah, that was pretty fun. <laughs> but uh, when we started talking on Facebook, it's like I had to reassure, like, you, you, you do know I'm, you know, yeah, yeah. I know. I don't give a shit. You look cute. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely one of the better things in my life, that's for sure. Yeah, we need to restart and talk off after this game stuff. We are definitely restarting Taco. of a taxi after this. Uh, what the hell are my X-rays? Scaff checkpoint, that's train. I mean, we could go the uh, more dangerous route and go over to uh, the um, I have someone running on my right side. Yeah, there's someone in there, I see. It's crazy today I hear every fucking footstep people are making. Like at the moment at least I hear pretty much every fucking footstep people are making. And an hour or two or when, or when I play the game tomorrow I probably won't be able to hear anyone. It's like it's a point flip who gets to hear what some days. I honestly I swear. Um, tomorrow I won't be able to hear that guy running around in there despite him actually being right next to me. But he'll be able to hear me today with the other way around, probably. It's just so random with this game. Some days it feels like the audio is just fucking on point, and the other days it feels like audio is not even existing in this game, like, at all. So fast, yeah. Um, let me let me show a few tips, um, Galato for looting. All right, so I'm just gonna, you know, pretend this is in his backpack. But when you loot, control, hold control down and click on an item. It'll, um, it will loot it to the, um, the, 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 the first available spot in your backpack or rig, depending if it's. If it's a mag, if it's a magazine, or if it's ammunition, it will go to your rig. Otherwise, it will go to your backpack. So, control click, 
will transfer it from their backpack to your backpack or from their inventory to your inventory. You can do the same thing the other way around. If you want to transfer something to his backpack and put the backpack, you can hold control click from your backpack and it will go into his backpack. That's the way you loot fast. If you want, let's say, if I want this equipped, if I con press control on this item, it will go into my backpack. If I hold alt ALT down, alt down, and click on it, it will actually equip it. So if I want to loot it, control click. If I want to equip it, alt click. As you can see, the, the glasses, if I alt click, the glasses go to my, um, you know, my, um, to my eyewear. If I control click, it goes into my backpack instead. So let's say I have a, this, this guy here that we've killed and his rig is pretty big. I want to use his rig for t to do a bit of Tetris. So as long as his backpack is equipped, every time I control click, things will go to his backpack. However, if I discard the backpack, you can the default bind for discard is delete. I've rebound. I've uh, rebinded it for um, you know the button just below uh, escape. I don't know. It tilt. I think it's tilt. The one you bring up console with uh, in most games, not in Tarkov though. So I want to discard his, um, you know, discard his stuff as well. I do that by you know, instead of pressing right click discard, it's bound to a button. Default is um, delete. I've rebound it because it's right next to my, you know, WASD. So I don't have to move my um, my hands away on the keyboard away from my movement keys, because being able to move is key to survival in this game. You don't want to be moving your hands away from WASD at any point in this game, not more than you know what is necessary. So now that I've discarded his backpack, I can control click and it will go into his uh, rig instead. And that way, when doing this, I can just equip that rig and I'm ready to run off. And I've, you know, used his back, his choices. And just by using his rig, this one has, what, um, 10 internal slots. But it actually only takes up 9 spaces in my backpack. So by doing that, by this, with this specific rig, I've actually gained one extra slot for loot in my backpack. Um, I don't really normally use the the, um, the VT rig, the Wartech rig for for chasing. It's too small and doesn't really gain you that much. But like um, the MK3 or um, you know a Black Rock or um, the MPPV or the Asimuts or whatever it is, they will they will have like 16 intern slots, but only fill 12 you know slots in the backpack. That actually gives you four extra slots for loot in the same amount of, of space so yeah that's that, that that's and that's the thing you need to get up you know that's the thing you really need to learn in this game is how to loot because yeah the, the quicker you are to loot things from a scav instead of you know dragging shit over and dragging shit up to do and, uh, and, uh, it just takes way much much too much time where sitting still and sitting still is going to get you killed in this game more or less, you know, staying staying on the move is most of the time what keeps you alive. Can also be the thing that kills you, but that really depends. But yeah, um, if you have something that you want to get from your backpack up to your rig, like let's say you have a grenade down here, you can control click and it will go up to your pockets um, as well. So like let's say you have four grenades here, you just throw three of them, and the rest of of the, the nades are lying down in your backpack so instead of dragging them you can just control click them and they'll go to the rightful place if you let's say you want to have this one up you can control click it forth and back you can do the same you, you can't really do it with max though because they will just move to the next available spot in your actual rig the same with ammunition uh, but all other stuff will go to you know forth and back uh, like this so you can use that as well um, it's the same thing when you get out of raid you hold press control down and just click the click 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 on things and it goes over to your inventory. You don't have to track everything out um, afterwards. Yeah, so that's the um, you know how to loot that kind of guide. Oh, someone's extracting the Plymouth stream. So like this guy has a uh, uh, the Asimut rig. I kind of want to use this one actually, um, seeing as it has a lot of slots. A lot of spaces so this is just definitely one of those we're gonna grab, grab and just like this so you can see this one has 620 or oh, sorry 20 internal uh, um, you know slots spaces but it actually only takes up 12 
So by using this one to stack up with, uh, I've actually created um, eight more sp uh, spaces to actually have loot on. So I've actually expanded my backpack with eight, with a capacity of eight, if, if you get what I mean. And the more ex the more you are able to expand, the more slots you're able to put in and create in your backpack or in general in your inventory, the more loot you can now have um, extract with, the more money you're probably going to make or the more progress you're probably going to make on hideout and stuff like that. So the rig you Tetris with needs to be bigger than, you know, in the in the space that it takes to gain the full you know advantage of it, but yeah, that stuff you'll learn by by time. That's gonna going to save me a lot of time, a lot of goodness. Yeah, I, I when I started playing Targa, I was obviously seeing a lot of the big streamers running uh, laps. And when I started playing Targa three and a half years ago, I was watching Pestily and you know a bunch of other people, Nyan Mang and a lot of others running around laps. And I was like, holy crap! Uh, Quatrways was one of the best, um, best looters at that time. He was a Russian streamer. He still streams actually, but he's not as big as he used to be. Um, so I was watching a lot of the YouTube videos and live streams. I was like, holy fuck, they loot so fast. How are they doing it? So I was watching uh, what someone. Actually, I found a completely different guy who had made a breakdown of one of the uh, their rates and how they looted, how they prioritized loot. I was watching that a few times, and I was like, okay, I found bought a key card, found a key card for laps, and I entered in in offline mode and putting raiders on. So I was running around offline mode with raiders on on high amount, and I was running around shooting those in offline, which was pretty good for you know obviously playing against higher tier AI at the time. That, that was the highest tier of AI except the bosses. And at shooting them in different places, out in the open, in closed rooms, you know, really learning. And then I was looting while they were being around me. Uh, I was forcing myself to sit in positions where I would have to loot quickly, you know, not to get shot by the raiders on laps. Um, that was like probably the first wipe I played, actually. And that's how I trained myself to be, you know, coming quicker. With experience and the, the amount of hours I have in Tiger, it's just been like, it's now second nature. I don't really think about it. It's muscle memory now, but that's how I actually practice it at the start. Um, and I, I found that I, I, fi I found that to be a very good way to practice them, um, eluding fast and under pressure, because that's really what you what you do in most situations. You're you're eluding under pressure because you're sitting still, or lying still in a in a, in a you know not so good position, and you just want to get the fuck out of there as quickly as possible. Without getting shot or, or, or you know exposed or discovered or anything. I actually use laps a lot. Um, I actually use I use laps a lot for practicing. Um, my first wipe. I played a shit ton. I played like really a shit ton of um, of laps in my first two wipes. I think the first wipe I played, I had almost 3,000 raids during the entire time. I was full time studying as well at that point, so I was playing a lot of time. Of obviously, I fucking addicted to it still. Um, and I was. Um, more or less, you know, I think of the 3,000 raids I had my first wipe, I think about, probably about 800 of those were laps raids. Pretty much only playing laps constantly. Pretty much the only map I was playing. Because I just wanted to be, I wanted to be better and, you know, I wanted to have the XP, I wanted to have the money that you could bring out from the, the ma that map at the time. Holy crap, that was such a gold mine. Um, and obviously just getting better at PvP and you know, more of, you know, just also, you know, being under pressure constantly. Thing is about, you know, when you're being under pressure constantly, you have to perform and have to be quick about things. It, it, it really develops your skills a lot faster, I think. <clears throat> if you're able to, at the same time, to keep somewhat calm and collected while you do it, if you just start panicking, 
just start panicking, you won't be making any progress. You won't really learn anything. So it's it's learning yourself, you know, to be good, uh, uh, quick about looting and you know shooting and peeping. But it's also at the same time, it's an you know a practice in actually keeping calm and collective um, when being in those situations where you're pressured to you know max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was fucked on of rates. <coughs> oh god. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> oh, I've been speaking too much in a row when I'm drinking. Makes sense. I'm, I'm glad it made, made sense. I'm just rambling on here, you know. Oink, oink. Another thing I have gotten used to. <laughs> Excuse me. Not something I do as often as I used to do. Not something I do as, as often as I used to do, but if you notice here, I, I've put all my loot in the left side of the backpack. In case I actually, uh, you know, go to a, a guy and obviously this room in it, I can just, you know, equip his weapon. There's gonna be enough room on the right side to actually equip his weapon and you know just drag shit and you know heal his gun if there's no room over here. And you're just bring his helmets and shit in <coughs> like that. So that I can just loot the guy quickly if I'm not sure that I'm gonna be safe. Loot his shit quickly into my backpack, run off and then search it and elsewhere and you know sort it out somewhere else. Mm -hmm. um, I don't do it as often as I used to do, honestly. I just really don't care. I used to do a lot of, you know, management of my, you know, backpack and stuff. But in reality, it just takes away so much of your fucking time organizing shit. And yet I'm still doing it because it's so incorporated into me now after playing for such a long time. <clears throat> Don't sit on going on. Keep the coin out there. We'll give you coins about us. If you know. That's lucky this time with Luke, though. It's okay.
Yeah, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit, you know. <coughs> this wasn't the best of them. Doing oink oink was disappointing. Prefer and prefer. Ufa and Ufa was disappointing as well. I mean, it should kind of be a lucky every time, right, guys? Mm. I should shirt these PCs, by the way, because I found them. Um, I was actually lucky to find a uh, graphics card in one of these yesterday. Oh, I need to. Um, Need to check them PCs, chat. Running outside. Things are scary. Running out of holy Christ, Polas, Yellow. So many ghost chat. Oh, someone's actually been here doing it. That's weird. I'm semi looted. It, it, it just does not make any sense, guys. I think a lot of people still don't know the good loot spots on this map. Someone's been looting in here though. Nope, someone spawned in here and just ran out instead of actually shaking shit. Wow. Jeez. Steel. So a fermite, a fire steel, and pressure gorge. That's like what 35k, 40k. That's almost 80 to 90k. That's like 40 to 50k. Someone didn't do their fucking job in here, guys. Just spawned and ran out. And ledgers as well can spawn some pretty awesome things as well. <laughs> get out of here, chat, guys, it's gonna get dark soon. That was a good raid, chat. That was a decent raid. Dying, guys. Yeah, that was a very nice raid. That was really a nice raid, actually. I mean, PP wise, sales are a bit dead at the moment. It seems like it's not that much of, um, you know, going on, but they'll, they'll get busy in a few hours, I guess. But in the next couple of hours, oh, fucking hell, guys, that's a big key. I think it's not the, um, isn't that like the good key of those two? Or is that, you know, the whatever key? 
Hello? Ah, that wasn't a good key. Damn it, I thought it was the good key, chat. Feels bad, man. Wanna keep the cheek and the G GP coins for bodies, for body armors and stuff. That's, X, that's number two. That was a good amount of um, good stuff there, Chen. That was a very good race, guys. Yo, Dinger. Same as flee, same as flee. Not worth. Just not work on flea mine at the moment. I'm ghosting now. Ja, det har jeg, eller <coughs> det har jeg klemt. Jeg havde fnyft med uh, en dag, da jeg skulle lave det guide på um, labs. Mens jeg lå og nede ved uh, Sluvich, så uh, fandt han uh, den til mig, og så kom han rendet ned midten og gav mig den, mens jeg var på vej til x -ray. Så det var så mega sødt af ham. Så jeg har fået mit uh, Intel uh, Center i 3. Damn, this is so hard. I better put laps. Yeah, this show video. This 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 side one out there. I think I'm not going to find it. Yeah, but put laps in the serious and slept down. Or the left them. I can't find it. Things are so much I have to PMC or L fucking way. Um, I've only found found any mention on one thing. So they were fucking nice. Og den fik jeg så lov til at tage med ud, så det var jeg virkelig, virkelig glad for. Starterpriserne fra um, Jæg og Madklasse er der gode i dag. Went to Woods. It's a little cap for cap uh, 45 or 55. It's 55 livery. 
um, requirement for unlocking the collector task is obviously doing all the tasks that's required um, and be level 55. No, you can actually unlock the, the, the collector task before that, um, but you have to be level 55 before you can come turn it in. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good today, Dinga. Although I stayed up to like almost like what four or five in the morning and playing Tarkov. I played Tarkov all night. Went to bed at like four thirty in the morning and um slept for like four or five hours. And yeah. I'm actually quite, you know, I'm feeling good today despite that. I'm gonna go to early to bed today so I can get my rhythm back again. Because that's been so fucked up lately. Electronic spawn. Hmm, interesting. Ten levels ago, then a few quests like my third capturing. Ah, uh, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Such an amazing task, right? 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 Did you play solo? Yeah, I was just running streets all night. Like, have you seen how many million rubles I have? I've I made like ten million rubles and during the night, those four hours I played after the stream, I was making so much fucking money. It was stupid. Streets is like crazy good balloon. Uh, you can sit lead after them there. Um, hey, like hack them. Players? Um, very few, honestly. I think I had like one PMC kill per second raid or something. I died to a player scape on my, with a, with a raid backpack full of loot. Uh, Xfil helmet and tactic body armor, like the same kid I'm running now just with a raid backpack. It was completely fucking full. And the guy comes fucking running out of nowhere with his mouse and just taps me in right in the fucking left corner of my helmet. You just see like, it's like, ah, oh, fuck me. So yeah, I just donated a uh, bunch of, you know, juicy shit to that guy. He was probably happy, I wasn't. Sort of, you know, had a nice name. We want to use that for crafting, guys. Right there. Those we're saving for crafting. I think we want to buy this one and this one. And peace, we want to buy the rest of the shit. Right, restarting tag off before we go into game. But crazy place to find them though, Tim. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm more or less doing English for the most part today. I think you, you can type in Danish if you want to ask questions and stuff in Danish if you want to. Bro. Um. We're gonna be speaking more or less English. Just need to add Dingo's track to the um to the playlist as well. Alright, tag of opening up guys.
Kender du nogen med en billig yellow card? Desværre ikke. Men jeg kender nogen med et yellow card. <laughs> so fucking hot in here, it's crazy guys. I am melting. That feels bad, man. <laughs> Wait, what are you saying to me? Oh, oops. All right, be right back, guys. I'm gonna grab something to drink, and I'm gonna put my help in the ponytail because this is getting too fucking hot. I'm sweating like a motherfucker here. Be right back, guys. Oops. Why is he moaning like that? It was so much of a pig up at the hill. Yeah, it's right. 35 moon shines. Or what is it? I lack. I think it's around there. I lack. Ikke at, jeg, ikke at jeg kan få min uh, fake case, fordi folk, den, er, den er udsolgt i det øjeblik, den resetter ved Farabas, fordi der er bots, der uh, sniper den. Så. Uh, we hit the high ping server now, guys. Uh -oh. Yeah, I don't know. Saw a guy yesterday that wanted to do 50 moonshines for a yellow key card. I was fucking tempted to buy that one because that's the end. All the moonshines I need for a fake items case. So all the ones I have. Please keep on. Wait, what? Wait, but wait, what thing? Bad Billy piece. Jeg vil bare dig efter en task. Pas. Jeg er ikke til en. Joey, shut up. Så er der Dark and Darker session. 100 page kill. Nice. Kan du lide Dark and Darker, hvor jeg er black name? Uh, network provider party.
Du mener... Den her eller hvad? Dengang. Så efter den her eller hvad? Jeg vil tror jeg. Ja, hvor er det oppe? Jeg kommer ikke til, sikkert ikke til at lave nogle flere, hvor ret mange uh, lightkeepers tasks, jeg, jeg gider ikke lige at taske, taske lige pt. You need to kill people only inside more, or you can kill them outside too. You know they need to be within the um, the confinements of the mall, but they can be down in the parking lot, in the basement. They can be uh, you know uh, middle floor, top floor. That doesn't matter. They just have to be within you know the building area, or very very close to like parking up almost up the walls. <clears throat> so yeah, pretty much inside. Sometimes we're driving best audio map. GG. <laughs> and then, yeah, the audio on Interchange is trash as fuck. That's why I'm not playing Interchange at all at the moment. I really love Interchange, it's one of my favorite maps. But I'm not dealing with that audio stuff on Interchange at the moment. No, thank you. Kostet er kostet dem 4, 5, 6 mil for en fik items case. at the moment when they fix audio or at least improve audio significantly I'm gonna go back and play in change but otherwise than that my main map is gonna be woods and streets <laughs> those are gonna be my main maps for the next long time I fucking enjoy this map it's so good maybe piss someone off guys be careful pissed someone off Hello. Um, do you have any? How f how close are you to Kappa degree? <coughs> like, how many tasks do you have left? Do you reckon? You no, know, besides capturing outpost and long line, apparently. <coughs> it's quite it's quite weird because last wipe uh, swift one was um, you know Kappa required as well. You have Kappa? Yes, I've caught Kappa for almost almost a week now. Um, but yeah, last last wipe Swift one was actually Kappa required. This wipe is not Kappa required, so I don't know. But yeah, I have Kappa. Um, I has the Kappa. Kappa to rule them all, uh, at least at least rule mine, but but no, at least. downstairs in the cafe by the way. I think that's actually downstairs in the cafe. 
I'm hoping it's not a big thing. Big butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. I can't remember the text for that one, but I think it's like I like big big butts and I can and, and something. Not lie. I can I can remember the text, sorry guys. We should listen to that song afterwards. When you come here, guys, be really, really careful of these um, of this ledge here. Like you see where there's the railing is. People can um, jump down from up the, from Sky Bridge, then run along the entire building on this this railing all the way, and people will be lying down here somewhere around here. Normally, I kill a guy here on stream yesterday. Um, Haste in six. Um, yeah, because people have found that to be a very good shooter born heaven uh, spot. So, be careful of that one if you cross the street. Both ways, actually. Go a bit. I got a big bada, badong, kodong, wait, what, what? I like the fact that it actually just say Sook. Well, that's not, I don't know why Sook, but I, 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 I think about, you know, the Orcs, the Ogres from um, Warcraft, Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 3, like, Sook Sook. Every time you put them to work or make them move, they will be like, Sook Sook. And shit. Any of you remember? Oh. Mike, Mike had something for me. That's difficult to say, I think. Someone picking up loot, by the way, guys. I feel like someone was picking up loot above me. Sounded like it. Is open. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely someone up here. There's gas don't go up here. <coughs> that might be in the other end though. Det er det, der har fået... Fået for lidt søvn, eller hvad? Medicin? Ah, nej, right, okay. No worries, altså.
Don't want us looted this place, chat. Don't want us stole no loot. I think I heard someone picking up loot above me. Ja, vi snakker også om at få pizza i dag. Men så skal jeg overhente det, så kommer det bare til at... Der ikke rigtig passe ordentligt med streamen, you know? Hvis jeg skulle overhente det, fordi Nick han er fucking træt. Han har, han har været vågen hele natten, han har ikke været i seng endnu overhovedet. Han lige sov to timers uge, og det er det, han har sovet. Øhm, så men der er nødt til at stoppe streamen over hen, hvis der er skattet det. Ellers skal vi tage en overpris for at få det leveret. <coughs> men det ved jeg sgu ikke, at det hele mit lider betale for. 69 kroner for noget, der tager to minutter over hen, det er også lidt, lidt crazy, synes jeg. Øhm, det her til at tage pizza dag. Øhm, men jeg vil faktisk heller gemme pizzaen til jeg har høstdag i næste uge. Honestly. Nu er jeg faktisk selv om sove, så det fandme også længere. Prøv at lade kreje ud af længere. Ej, der kom det løs. Bare det er ret godt dog. Vi fik ud i hjørnet her i den her gang, der var nogen, der var hurtigere end os her. Nu fylder du 40. Øh, uh, 29 dengang. Um, 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 turning is 29. Den har lov at hjælpe mig, eller aftensmad, hvis vi, skulle, vi kunne lave butter i kaj, så det er den nye hængel i dag. Ej, det er fandme også lækkert der. Opatski, my brother! Opatski! Opatski! What the fuck is he? Uh, Opatski, what? The camera is really icy, I think. Huh, no. I have to check the photo. The fan will check the photo.
Now I'm gonna do the uh, do now I'm gonna have Wow, the yeah, fucking roof to that. The yeah, fucking roof to that eh? Ej, vi er 37. Den 15. februar. Så det er... Åh, oh, det er ja, det, må, det må være en onsdag, så. Ja, yeah, don't jinx it, A. Hartfeldt. Bilan. Ja, uh, yeah, det er så bedre. Du leveler dine traders på tre måder. Et, dit level. Generelle PMC level. <coughs> du leveler dem ved at lave det representation, altså som du får fra at lave deres tasks. Um, og så leveler du dem ved, hvor meget du køber eller sælger til dem. Det går begge veje. Um, ja. Så når du køber og sælger til dem, så kan du se, at det der antal penge, du har brugt, det stiger. Både når du køber fra dem, når du sælger til dem. Dit PMC level obviously også, men reputation, som er den der midter del uh, ved trader menuerne, det er fra at lave tasks med dem. Det er det, der lifter dem, det er at lave tasks. Uh, og du kan også se, hvor meget en task fra de forskellige gear, nogle af de prøver at se at finde her. Uh, den kan ikke den her. Den her, den giver for eksempel plus 0,03 vi jæger. Det er et beløb der, der står, at man ikke kan komme højere level med tingene, det næsten vil være ved at klare for missioner. Ja, lige præcis. Og så når du på de her level, så får, kommer der nye hate-rasser. Jeg har minus 5,41 skaf, kan man fik så det. Vi sætter din account. Ja. Ellers så løber du rigtig, rigtig mange skab runs ja, Der er lidt kun dit par muligheder næsten. Der er bilerne fra alle maps uh, 10 gange. Så generelt bare bruger Car X-Rex indtil, uh, indtil du er plus. Uh, <coughs> men ja, bedst, så lige snart du så leveler en trader for, sige, fra level 2 til level 3, uh, så, så får du nyt krav for et nyt level, nyt uh, amount of spend og et nyt reputation level, du skal også være. Når du så opnår det, så får du så level 4 for eksempel, og sådan kørt osv. Så Ja. ja, rasser øh, bilerne, tager øh, bilextractionerne øh, på hvert map. De første 10 gange, der får du forhøjet bonus til skæftkarmen, når du tager bilextractionerne på din PMC på alle mapsene. Efterfølgende, når du har gjort det 10 gange, så får du 0,01 PMC skæft, eller på skæftkarmen. Øh, hold op. Skæft PMC extract kan også bruge. Det giver lidt, men ikke meget. Uh, Skud i PMC er ikke uh, noget som helst uh, på en A-skab for A overhovedet. Uh, og så løber den skab for at lave fændstelis. Det er det, der gør, at du kommer op i den. Du har fået godt at vundet op med din skab, kan jeg sige. Du har fået rigtig godt at vundet op med din skab. Det var en skab violence at no go. Og det kommer til at tage tid, fordi at, øh, med øh, minus 5,41 skabkammer, så har du sikkert en øh, cool down på din skab på... Der må get 35-40 minutter eller sådan noget stil. Hvis ikke du har en tæl, din sender i 3. Jeg ved, hvad du vil sige, uh, skødt, og jeg er enig. Jeg synes også, at skabt karma er fucking skrællet. 
Det gør det, det, gør det nemmere at komme ud med... Det var meget sjovt at fight mod alle gamle dage. Ja, yeah, jeg totally agree, skørt. Totally fucking agree. Shaking guys, my hands are fucking shaking. Better than four, yeah, way better. At least in my opinion. It could be long later than six. Yeah, I should have done it there. So I should have done it more times. Oh, fuck! There is no more here for the game. So that's why I'm going to the right. Det er svært at høre med det her vejrtrækning, you know? Steve me even, I like it. Thank God for my fucking Lysa though, otherwise you could probably have killed me as well. I was fucking close.
GG, so um, crit, crit, cool, 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 something. Oh, there's a fucking airdrop here as well. Holy shit, guys. Ah, they uh, give meaning more for us among the uh, heavy boys. They go thing. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, you were the PMC, right? Okay, I see. I thought you were the scaf. Oh my fucking god. It's a hake chain. Uh, I have no idea about that, honestly. Would make exactly say. Not a fan of the um, HK, honestly. I'm not gonna have all this fucking loot with me out, thanks. Oh, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. New Wiser, please. Thank you. Can I can I have a new Wiser, please, Nikita? But holy fuck! Jesus Christ, guys! A shield to the safe, yes. Mucho so. Wait, that was a headshot, a new uh, Gritco. How the fuck was that a headshot, a new? I shot you like four times in the back or something like that. It's just tapping you between the shoulder blades from behind. That's a headshot. Wait, what? He's an XP, guys. Holy shit. I don't, that um, Kedda guy nearly fucking killed me. That Kedda guy nearly fucking killed me. Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> Scared? Um, scared of what? No hitcher. Oh. <laughs> oh. Eh, don't be. As I said, I have no idea how that actually counted as a headshot because I wasn't even shooting you in the head or shooting you in the back. Now, I, I saw you running inside. I was coming out from uh, Pinewood Hotel. I was actually supposed to go to um, the financial center, the bank across the street. And as I uh, came out from uh, the, um, the food shop at Sparge Hotel, I saw you coming uh, along the... Um, the nightclubs area and turn left towards where where I shot you in the back. So I was, I was actually stalking you for a few seconds, and then when you started um, running down the street, I shot you in the back. I actually thought you were going down to um, to extract down that you know suicide uh, sewer river, and then as I kill you, I saw you through a nade. I was like, oh, there's more people down here. Fair enough. Um, and I tell you, shit was shit. Shit went mad because there were so many players cast down there. Holy thing, I've 
I think I killed about five player scouts. Four, five player scouts. That was fucking nuts, guys. That was fucking nuts. Gun is prone to, um... Oh my god, even my f fucking ear protection saved me and my helmet itself saved me. Um, uh, hashtag loggy. I did not see the, um, the airdrop though. If I knew the airdrop was down, I probably wouldn't have pushed so far down. The only thing I don't want to be really is, you know, donating my gear, to, donating my gear to a player scout. I absolutely hate donating my shit to player scouts. They scare me. No, honestly, player scouts fucking scare the shit out of me. What the fuck, guys? Bolster gig me for the knee coat here. Coach you. I think I'm in place, I'm not really kid, I'm missing Kida. I think I'm not in place, I'm not in square push. I think the players have still a lot of loop on them. I think I've not pushed in on a PMC, I've just not pushed in on a PMC, I've just not pushed in on a PMC, I've just not pushed in on a PMC, honestly. Do I? I mean, you know, that's just me. Probably wouldn't have pushed in. Guys, be right back. I just gotta take care of myself for a second, two seconds, guys.
фары врубай, Вадик! Он он! I'm muted, sorry. Shit, I've been muted for 10 minutes, guys. Put it on tight, Flynn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure the reason why the server is lagging so much and that, and oh, fuck me, and Third World War just broke out is because uh, Gluha is, um, has spawned. I'm pretty sure Gluha has spawned down in the car dealership. That's the reason why the server is so laggy at the moment, because it's running so bad this raid compared to the last one. Also, I need to restart and tag up after this raid. I don't know if I'm able to do this, guys, but I'm definitely gonna check this shit out. No idea is if, if it is Gluha and his uh, companions. It's just you know a uh, a hinge. Because otherwise, I don't know what the fuck to explain that insane uh, third world war. Well, yeah, no. Let's not try that again yet. <laughs> not again. Maybe he actually didn't spawn, but you know, someone just went fucking ham on the, um, the grenade launchers and shit. Maybe I was wrong, chat. Pointing.
fucking crazy that I don't That was absolutely fucking insane. Holy shit, we think you're going to grenade, right? And then grenade launcher there, they were bad. Hold on, they're for serving the legger, for serving the legger. Heel letter, the money, but still, they're for it. Something heavy crazy, man. You know, that could have been better for now again. sådan her. Det var som om vi skulle løbe ned i kælden, så der var sådan noget nogle bolje. Inden vi ikke strækker dem. Det var ikke særlig godt herinde. Nu må løbe noget derovre. Det her er bare ikke lige stedet, man løsner det fange, nemlig. Fight man bag en kæmpe bygning og en meget længere ned, og det lyder som om det er lige inde i min øresnegn. Ring, eller jeg hører sådan her. Det lyder lidt som om det er lige her, de skyder. Det er de electrical trills, der nu lader mig flere længere af, hvor de er under 40.000. tæt på mig, og jeg kan køre det, fordi den der lyden, fordi skudderne, det overdøber det, der sker lige ved, ved siden af mig. Hvordan? Hvor mange har været der? Gitchi. Gitchi. Jeg prøver at holde det der nu får det jo ikke bare skulle ud, guys. Jeg fik dobbeltbacksene her, de fire dobbeltbacks inden vi hopper. Jeg skal huske, hvor det hele inden for inden også. Okay, det vidste jeg ikke. Jeg bare se. Nej, jeg har allerede været inden herinde.
Ej, ja, jeg ser, jeg føler mig også nogen, når det faste, og det er så meget, for jeg kun har fået 5 timer søvn, så jeg spillet til klokken halv 4, halv 5 i nat. Så jeg føler mig faktisk øh, overraskende frisk i dag. Jeg kan godt mærke, at jeg begynder at blive lidt træt nu, det er jeg ved at på dagen, men ja, jeg har så også, øh, vil jeg sige, jeg også taget mig sammen til, øh, mens ikke han lige var inde og sove en lille lur. Så fik jeg så også taget sammen til at gøre det ud af mig selv. Jeg har ikke øh, gjort noget ud af mig selv overhovedet i, øh, i ugevis, jeg tror, der er nogen, der lille her, eller hvad der ja. er. Uh, bare alene, jeg sad bare og spillede alene, jeg sad bare og løb på uh, Street Sale eller natten. Der var ikke en fucking sjæl, hvor jeg tog og mødte en KMC med 3. og 4. raid. Det var helt vildt. Mødte et par enkelte blæreskab, så det var vildt i det. Jeg havde mener mine spare streets for mig selv, så jeg kunne løbe hen, hvor fanden jeg ville, og bare lue. Det var fucking crazy. Men jeg var ikke træt, fordi jeg så jo lur helt vildt sent i går, inden jeg startede streamen. Jeg så jo lur kl. 5 eller sådan noget, stiller mig. Bare 3 til 5 eller sådan noget, så jeg jo lur i går. Så jeg var bare overhovedet ikke træt. Jeg havde ikke rigtig lyst til at gå i seng, altså, så sad og så en stream sammen som er, og så fik jeg egentlig lyst til at spille, og så sad jeg og spille, og så så stream. Jeg havde nærmest det, som sagt, jeg havde en mellemmelde nærmest for mig selv, det var helt åndssvagt. Uh, men i dag, mens uh, Nick han lige var inde og sove et par timer her i dag, uh, efter jeg stod op, så fik jeg også taget mig sammen til at ordne øjenbryn, og fik uh, taget mine uh, skraber. Jeg har sådan en, uh, faktisk en øjenbryns kniv. Men den er også rigtig god til at skrabe på huden med. Når ja, man har tør hud og masser af døde hudceller, så er den god til at fjerne med sig. Jeg kunne rigtig få, you know, mod creme i ansigtet. Um, fordi der ikke rigtig ofte klippet negle, og fik kom i bad, og fik vasket hår, og... Bare lige fik gjort en, en hel del, you know, ud af mig selv. Fordi det har jeg bare ikke gjort nu i halvanden, eller faktisk nok i nærmest tre uger. Siden jeg sidst har plukket min øjne ind. Så det var også bare... Jeg har faktisk kommet til at se uh, lidt, 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 uh, you know, lidt civiliseret ud. Jo. Ja, det er jo rimelig godt. Der er ingen grund til, at jeg har så mange fucking millioner rubler lige pludselig. <laughs> ja, altså, jeg, tror, jeg tror lidt, vi er der, hvor jeg måske overvejer lidt, om vi skal... Øh, om vi lige skal gøre en kærlig hånd med den her. Jeg, jeg, jeg hader at gøre det her, for jeg ved som oftest, at når jeg gør det her, så dør jeg som oftest gerne i rated lige efter. Og nu har jeg tænkt sig, at det er ekstra meget ved at selv at sige det, you know? But I know it's happening. I know it's gonna happen. Men, men den her, han trænger til en udskiftning. Jeg tør ikke stole på... Øhm, jeg tør ikke rigtig helt at stole på... Øhm, på durabilityen længere. Kom, hvis vi skal ind i spray fight, så... Det er lidt kras. Jeg tror, jeg skal prøve at overveje, om jeg har Blue Blood med i stedet for øhm, Sagustinen. Mest af alt, fordi Blue Blood også har noget øhm, heal i sig. Vi 
Jeg siger, at um, Peacekeeper har også en brænder til at uh, altså lige undersøge en quest. Um, pick. pick item case. Ah, uh, okay. Ja, yeah, okay. Du skal lave... Ja, yeah, okay. Ja, yeah, okay, den der. Ja, yeah. okay. Ja, yeah, no. Du skal lige lave trophies først. Du skal lige have 20 uh, usikker, 20 uh, dog... Uh, 20 usikker, 20 bære dog tags, der er level 50 plus. Så afleverer du dem, og så får du special equipment questen. Og så skal du lige aflevere 5 VPX. AFID, Viatexes, uh, Military Flash Drives og Signal Transmitters. Når du så laver den, så er Chris Rewarden for den der, du kan... Um... Du er også level 60 for at kunne starte den. Så går du bare der til... Um... Så går du bare der til... Um... Fik items case ved Peacekeeper også. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's not gonna happen, Jim. That's definitely not gonna happen. Oh, I should begin to start talking about saying what there is now. That's not gonna happen, guys. <clears throat> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Tak, Egon. Det, jeg føler mig også betydeligt mere frisk i dag. Jeg føler også, at stemmen er faktisk bedre i dag. Jeg har lige en gang imellem, hvor det føles, som om der er, en, der er lige sådan en, en lille dværm, der lige kravler ned i halsen, og så sidder han lige med en fjer, og så sidder han bare helt hernede og bare... Dig, 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 dig. Og jeg kan bare ikke huske det løs. Hvad <coughs> end det så er, så tager det en helvedes tid, før det lige kommer løs, og så... Så kan jeg snakke lidt igen. Jeg skal mega meget tis, guys, så bare ved. Baby, I gotta pee. Backseas. We be back. <clears throat> I was really positive that Gluha might have spawned that raid. Since the grenade launchers and the MGs went ham like that at the car dealership. 
almost positive that Bluha had spawned that raid. Um, guess not though. Guess not. <sighs> that would have been cool. <sighs> I've only met Gloha once on the streets, and that was while I was on my scaff. I've met Killer twice, actually. I killed him and I died to him. I actually died to him um, during the night, actually. Which was kind of annoying, because it was like things that, yeah, it's, you know, decent raid, good, very good in my backpack. You know, I'm probably going to run into Killer. Shouldn't be surprised. As I exit the building, I just hear like his voice lines going, I don't know, I don't know. like, fuck. Yeah, and, and, and I didn't really manage to do anything but think, fuck. And I was dead. He was sitting in, he was sitting in the bush in, inside of the Pinewood Hotel area. He was like literally sitting in a fucking bush. He was bushwalking it. I couldn't even see him, but I could just see where the trace was coming from. They were just shooting out fuck my fucking bush.